mambo vipi welcome to my youtube channel and my name is Fred Fx na leo nitaelekeza vitu vya msingi unavyokuwa deposit pesa uh, Binance ni vitu gani vya msingi ambavyo unatakiwa kuvifuata okay kitu cha kwanza kabisa unatakiwa kufahamu what do you kama ni account yako ni mpya okay kama account yako ni mpya ukisha ukisha ifungua tu ukamaliza itakuletea sehemu ya fund your account yani ndio deposit pesa sasa kisha kuletea hivi unatakuwa kuweka pesa uh, katika Binance account yako. Kitu cha kwanza baada ya kume click utaletewa je unataka ku deposit which coin, okay? So utakuja utachagua, okay? Kwamba maybe nataka ku deposit maybe uh, let's say uh, tuchukulie mfano wa USDT. Then watakwambia network. Network this is like hii ni chain ambayo inakuwezesha wewe. Yaani Unavu, unavukua una transfer pesa kuna medium ambayo inatumika kwenye ku transfer a type of blockchain ambayo inatumika katika ku transfer that money okay so lazima uchague ukikosea network that means hiyo pesa utaipokea okay kwa lazima uwe makini sana 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 unapokuwa unachagua hiyo kwa mfano hasa kwenye upande wa just take tutumie ethereum kwa sababu watu wengi wa inawachanganya So ni assume like na deposit sorry na deposit ethereum okay Then network kwenye network hapa unatakuwa kuwa makini sawa so, unatakuwa kuwa makini sana In those kind of transfer kuna mtu mwingine anaweza kukwambia nitumie maybe BNB au hata USDT lakini network yake labda ikawa Binance Smart Chain. Alafu umechagua maybe Ethereum. Sawa. So, that means huo muamala hautamfikia. Sawa. So, kwa lazima uwe very careful kwenye network. Ndio maana most of people wanauliza network. Lakini kitu kingine kwenye network huwa ni makato. Kwa mfano kwenye swala la Ethereum hapa. Ethereum hawa jamaa wana makato makubwa sana. Unaweza ukajuta hata kwa nini umetuma hiyo pesa. Utakatwa pesa kubwa kubwa sana. Okay? wana makato makubwa sana. Ni bora ukatumia uh, Binance Smart Chain. Okay? Na sio ERC20. Sometimes unaweza kukuta kwenye wallet kule hizi Ethereum Binance Smart Chain hazipo. Unakuta tu labda kuna ERC20, kuna BEP20. Kwa hiyo unatakiwa kuwa very careful kwenye kuchagua. Okay? So tutarudi kwenye mfano wetu wa USDT. Okay? So someone anavokuwa uh, unavokuwa unahitaji ku receive kwa sababu hapa mwisho siku uta copy ile address okay mwisho siku kwa sababu unahitaji ku receive maybe from the guy au maybe uh, ingie kwenye account yako alafu baadaye ndo ununue hizo njia zote uh, it is possible okay so nitatumia USDT alafu hapa nitatumia uh, Binance Smart Chain okay Smart uh, Binance Smart Chain ni nzuri ikija swala la ikija swala la makato so hicho hicho unatakiwa kukifahamu pia okay then baada ya hapo um, so wanakupaga huo wanakupa password ambazo watapitia mpaka wanakuja ku confirm so you have to copy this one you have to copy this one this is the address unatakiwa ku copy hii address kwa sababu this address this address tayari kiweka tiki hapo inakuwa copied okay so this address ndo address ambayo wewe utapokea that kind of that kind of transaction so mtu ambaye anakutumia sorry so mtu ambaye anakutumia anakutumia uh, that uh, that that money utatakuwa kumtumia hiyo address then moja kwa moja yeye ataweza ku, ku, kutuma pesa kwenye address hiyo. Sasa lazima na yeye umwambie kwamba like USDT zangu ni kwenye Binance Smart Chain. Sije tu ukamwambia kwamba tuma pesa, okay? Kwa sababu kuna networks tofauti tofauti au blockchain tofauti tofauti ambazo zinaweza zikatumika kutengeneza hizi stable coins. So that is very 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 important. Baada ya kuwa mikutumia utazi utazipata. Sawa. So, Sawa. So, so that is very ensure ndo maana hapa chini unakuja kuambiwa. That's why nimekwambia before you deposit uh, lazima uangalie hivi vitu. Sawa. So, 
send only USDT to this deposit address. Kwa hiyo address ambayo tumeikopi tutamtumia mtu ambaye anahitaji kutuwekea USDT lazima lazima umwambie kabisa kwamba hii ni address ya USDT lakini natumia Binance Smart Chain Network. Okay? Akitumia network nyingine itakuwa lost. Remember kwenye blockchain you have to be very careful kwenye masuala ya transactions. Hakuna errors huko. You have to be very very careful. Kwa hii ni njia ya kwanza ambayo unaweza kuitumia ku deposit account kwenye account yako ya Binance kama ndo umeifungua, okay? Lakini pia kuna P2P ambayo nimeelezea kwenye previous video unaweza pia ukatumia njia hiyo. So asante sana kunisikiliza lakini make sure unafata vitu hivi ambavyo nimekwambia ni muhimu sana 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 sana. Thanks for listening. Na